that can that can turn into things like Nair, that can turn into things like Forward Air, and, and anything can start a combo if you're quick enough to pull the trigger. Let's see how quick uh, MGW can be when he's facing down a character with equally as speedy stats in the Zero Suit Samus. I don't think we'll see Bankai's uh, Pokemon Trainer. I, I mean, I haven't seen it in probably about a year. <laughs> You, you weren't watching Xeno this week? I wasn't. That's no. crazy. See, if y'all not watching Xeno, don't, don't be like Ubel, who doesn't support. Look. And watch the stream. Literally. Literally, literally a <laughs> literally sub to the stream, by the way. You can check in chat right now. I am a subscriber. Don't be like Ubel and not watch the stream. Make sure y'all are getting in this Here's action. Suit. But speaking of, um, <laughs> you know, Xeno, we are going to have this matchup and um, this cute little stage called Battlefield. I definitely love Battlefield for its mix-ups with, you know, a lot of um, juggling situations where you need to keep your opponent in the air. And speaking of keeping your opponent in the air, already doing a 51, I think 51% on MGW. And knowing that, you know, MGW took a lot of that percent, they were being a little bit really patient. And I just love the way they're already taking this. And I think, Bank I got his stuff taken. Yeah. Patient, but knowing when to push advantage. So it's the name of the game for a lot of fast characters from, from Zero Suit to Greninja to Falco to Fox, all that all these characters that thrive in neutral with their speed but have that punish game, you need to know when to push that advantage. And MGW pushed it to its fullest extent, finding the stock off of the edge guard when Zero Suit was at her most vulnerable, lacking a flip jump. Absolutely. And another thing to mention is too that whenever we, like, Bankai definitely has a lot of good, you know, um, juggle situations. They definitely have really good advantage. However, it just really comes into situations where they're actually trying to love chat their opponent. And that's something you kind of want to um, prioritize more than just um, being, you know, throwing out options like a wolf per se to kind of force your opponent to be a little bit scared. And granted, you know, CSS does have some scary options. I just don't think they have as much scary options that, um, you know, MGW specifically needs to be afraid of. Getting that first um, stock off and bringing it along, you know, to even yeah, even even enough at this point. You know, you can play really quickly, but it's the you can rack up damage fairly quickly as long as you find the right openings. But the problem here is that MGW, on top of spacing out and being as patient as he is, he's playing very small. He's making himself small using Green Ninja's very uh, very solid crouch and all, overall very cool, low dash. In order to make Bankai's life that much hard, oh no. Now that's what happens when you're impatient and you try to fight your way back on stage. Because your suit down air is a spike throughout its entirety, so <laughs> unfortunately for MGW, abandoning the game plan for just a, a couple frames and dying for it, making this game a lot more even than it potentially could have been. But hey, good on Bankai for finding that opening and striking for it, looking for the two frame, getting a whole lot more. I mean, I'm going to be completely honest, this is exactly where we're going to see, I feel like we're going to see an instance of a uh, situation where Bankai might actually take this game back from being in a very disadvantageous spot. Right now. I mean, you know, um, this is ZSS, we will see a situation where ZSS gets maybe a Nair or um, just a Zare in order to start their neutral, and this could be very bad if she actually gets a down smash. Or a back air. Yeah, a back, back air. A back air is going to take that. <laughs> Speed is king. Look at how like this this hit, this second hit of forward air, doesn't necessarily like be so obvious. It's not going to so obviously lead to combos. But what it does is allow uh, Bankai to unabatedly chase. Okay, he was mashing the uh, shuriken out of hit stun, and that I mean, when if you have the space to do so, a full screen option as your opponent. It, oof, indeed. A full screen option as your opponent takes center isn't too bad, and Shuriken can go a long way at rel being relatively quick. But Bankai pushed the advantage and got his and got rewarded for it. And speaking of advantage, I definitely love this stage choice coming in from MGW here, going to Town and City. And the reason why I like this is because the kind of small space that um, was the type of situation in that last game was kind of what. Um, made the downfall of MGW. They didn't really have too many situations in order to just be like, okay, 
I think here is when I want to run in because right now it looks like Bankai wants to actually use Air or Nair like a lot of situations because you can't do that on a stage where there's three platforms and three platforms make it all that much easier to land a fair, a back air, a Nair, even more things than they would normally be able to land if it was a stage where it's um, Town City that can also um, have less options for Bankai to land with. Yeah, having that you know, fundamental shift in stage going from the, the triplat layout to basically what is like FD to Kalos, the, the, FD, the FD transformation into a northern cave just kind of puts MGW in a really good spot stage-wise for the very least two-thirds of the time. Mm -hmm. And if his vertical combos at all are, are on point, then you can take advantage of all of these layouts. But... Bankai can do the same thing in terms of just how much space he has. Not having the percent lead right now will certainly hurt that, and not being able to find your Zare because of how low to the ground Greninja can be also hurts your zoning capabilities. So it's really just on Bankai to make use of the, the tag he's representing and just go full on, full advantage. See what, uh, see what you can find off of the littlest of hits. These scraps are really good, but the not tall ceiling good. is not going to do it quite yet. Ooh, that back air is going to take it. And I definitely love the way that, um, you know, MGW was actually trying to rush towards where Bankai wants to land because this is Greninja. However, that up is going to take it. The kind of thing that I really would love to see from MGW is to um, spend a little bit less time using... Um, you know, um, Water Shuriken and more of just understanding when Bankai wants to jump because the minute that Bankai jumps is the minute that they can immediately blow them up for actually doing something like Nair. It's like, yeah, you, you're jumping Ooh, in this area. Arc. Ooh, that was a very nice combo right there. Yeah, a, a combo he absolutely needed not only to get his the percent lead back, but also to put Bankai in kill percent for that very strong forward air. Going air to air with ZSS is a little bit more difficult than for most characters, but Greninja certainly has the capability to do so, and having a nice killing aerial certainly helps with that. But the boost kick on the roll in, Bankai taking it, trying to find this kill at least here, but with how much MGW has been evasive and been jumping around, it's hard to find that hard lat that hard hitting like, punch that he's looking for. He's He's getting a lot of damage, but at 149, your opponent's feeling pretty good. You're out of most of ZSS's really true combo ranges. So just got to look out for back air in, in 20 or 30%, maybe even longer. Don't get grabbed and so you can so you can not get up thrown. Another thing is, too, that was, that was very nice um, to get the kill right there. However, I think people confuse the fact of jumping way too much against ZSS. There will be a lot of situations where you think you can jump against ZSS because of how much she's actually jumping. However, she'll just show that she can just hit you out of the sky so easily. A lot of situations where it looks like she should be, you know, in lag from something like flip kick on shield, but not enough lag to just up air you if you try to jump right out of that. It's, it's a rough kind of go around to try and counterplay a character that is so fast. But I like MGW's approach to it, right? He's, he is jumping, he is full hopping around in order to look for fares and look for nares and start like getting uh, some sort of combo tree started. But most of the time when he's jumping, it's the water shuriken and it's to stall so that he can find himself back on the ground and he can get these punishes that he knows that Bankai is going to do. More often than not, Bankai, when on the ground, he's been committing to some pretty large hits. He's been going for things like up smash to see if he can counter a jump, but not doing and finding the fair on the roll in. A solid read from MGW, who looked like he had a beat towards the latter half of that game, because that whole this whole series started with that back air right there, a back air on the flip jump that he knew was coming and was able to pun a properly punish, leading to the kill. Absolutely, for sure. That was just a really good showing in from MGW. You know, when they actually did have the lead, they played how like they said they wanted to play. They wanted to just not really interact as much because it's it, it, it's something that you know they're trying to work on, and I really love them showing that right there. Yeah, it is a, it, I mean, it was good play. It's good solid counterplay. You would see him tr blocking the flip jump and trying to punish the lag after it would hit his shield, which is the best time to punish a move like that. 
but we're going to small battlefield now this is a this is a bit of an interesting counter pick but one that uh one that bankai had uh just kind of looks familiar with i mean if you like battlefield more often than not you end up liking small battlefield for similar reasons but without that top platform it may end up serving mgw a little bit more if he plays his cards right absolutely for sure but i also think that um you know bronchi also wants to use this to the point where they can actually have a little bit more um, options like that runoff back air that we saw right there trying to open up mgw yeah, but kind of getting opened up here where he is without his flip jump. Does have his double jump though, and that was all he needed in order to get out of the corner and back into center. It's it's incredible watching this match and how much it gets uh, how much gets taken off the table from Zero Suit when you shut down or limit her nair. Uh, excuse me, not her nair, her Zare. Without Zare finding its mark in many of these instances, because Greninja is so fast and so elusive. You're not getting poked out. You're not getting zoned by Zero Suit. You're not getting your momentum stopped by a minus two move. You're just able to keep the keep the formless offense to use his tag going and keep playing that game without a without a Bond girl poking you in the face. <laughs> Um, but for sure, it just looks like a lot of just moves being used in neutral. But I honestly really do love the way that Bankai is actually just using their um, Zara a little bit aggressively. They know how many times, you know, as much as um, MGW actually wants to spam, you know, sh Water Shuriken and spam their areas at a lower space, they want to get the Zare so they can get a back air like there. But tallying immediately is MGW taking that stock, making this extremely more, um, you know, even. Wow, I mashed up tilt out of the uh, out of the initial hit. I mean, that's another frame three move in Zero Suit's arsenal, though not a commonly used one since it doesn't usually lead to much. It's exactly what you needed right there, though. It looks like MGW is starting to get his vortex going, not able to find his proper st uh, his proper starters and the follow ups that he was looking for afterward. And Bankai meeting him in the middle with these up airs. Okay, there is no neutral. It's just both of them are just swinging on each other. <laughs> I mean, that's absolutely true, but I would still love to hope that they're putting at least a little bit of thought into it. It does really oh, look for sure. Yeah, no, um, it's. I just. Yeah. No, go ahead. Uh, um, I honestly think that it's just a little bit more of, um, you know, they're both trying to space while also trying to be a little bit aggressive with each other. And speaking of aggressive, that um, Miss Dash Attack, I think, that was um, actually going to take MGW off the top. Finding the tech on the platform as well. Yeah, it's it's been an interesting kind of situation we're seeing both players in because both of them are almost following the same kind of mindset where they get that hit, they want to see where it takes them, see how many other uh, hits they can string together. And usually after the second or third, it then becomes an overextension, which the other one punishes. And they rotate back between advantage and disadvantage, both of them rather seamlessly. But it does come at the cost of moments like this, where they both are they're, they're playing footsies, and they're, they're poking around. They'll hit finding that down tilt the fair, see if that can result in a kill. No, Bankai comes down aggressively and almost looking for almost finding a back air that could have resulted in the stock. It might do so sooner rather than later, especially with all this rage online. Definitely something that I really ooh, that was a very nice back air. But something that I really like about Bankai is the way that they actually um, use a lot of their frame chats pretty well. Yeah, we saw little situations point. where, um, you know, they would air dodge into, um, or where MGW, I think, would air dodge in after an, like, an up B and just take really good um, note of how they actually went by it. But it looks like our replay is frozen. Yeah, it seems our, our replay is currently paused. The replay button don't work. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, and we can see those frame traps right here, though, because he air dodges, forces the fair. Uh, with his back air, MGW thinks he can uh, he can disengage with something like an air dodge, uh, and he successfully does, but then gets the jump called out of. Like, it's almost always putting Bankai... Bankai always putting his opponent in panic situations, where they, once they... F or, Putting them in panic situations, letting them think they got out and could hit a button, and then punishing that button. 